Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam with DIY Agency bringing another uh, review video of Article Forge um, and specifically offering a free trial to make sure that you uh, you give it a shot. Um, so I, I've done a, another um, review or, or video of this, but I wanted to take it a little bit deeper into why I think this is the best AI content writer out there. Um, it's really great for newbies, it's great for professionals, it's great for people that are looking to do um, bulk article generation if they're doing mass sites or anything like that. So there's a lot of ways to utilize this, whether you're looking for just ideas uh, or you're looking to just pump out a ton of content, um, you know, whether it's uh, for a book, for, uh, for affiliate marketing purposes or what have you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this a little bit uh, in detail and we're going to create an actual um, article in front of you so that you can kind of see exactly what the quality is and uh, how to move forward with, uh, with uh, getting the free trial. So let's start, um, you know, it is just recently Article Forge 3.0. They just came out with a new upgrade. Uh, I think it's been pretty fantastic. Um, I use this for just about everything I, I do, uh, including content within my YouTube video reviews. I'll, I'll usually put a snippet um, of about 500 uh, words into each uh, article that I or video that I do, both on this channel and the other channels that I have. Um, real quickly, you know, they do offer some for, for some uh, some pro tips, um, but let's uh, let's talk about you know just creating a new article right from the start. So. They offer a couple different ways to do this. Um, you know, really, if you're just looking to create one simple article uh, or looking just for some some simple ideas, um, there's an opportunity to create just one keyword and then add other keywords for uh, for for the the artificial intelligence to understand it a little bit further. Um, there's ways to customize length, um, add titles, add images, add videos. Um, now understand that when they're adding images and videos, they're pulling from the web. So um, what you'll sometimes find is that you'll get a contradictor, not a contradictor, a competitor. Um, so if you're doing something on, you know, let's just say uh, you're a car dealer and you're trying to promote uh, your, your dealership and you add a video or an image, you, it's going to pull from the web. So it's very possible it's going to pull from a competitor or a, a different brand. Um, replacing keywords with links. If you're going to have the keyword in there a number of times, and you want to have multiple links that uh, that when, when that keyword is uh, is put in, um, you can cr you can create that. Um, you can post directly to your WordPress blog, which we'll get into in a moment. And if you are looking to do any kind of bulk posting, um, and you have a Word AI account, you can uh, can get right in there um, and and put in your uh, your AI uh, email and API keyword or um, key. So let's start real quick. Um, what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to enter a keyword here. Um, what is artificial intelligence? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create you know a couple sub keywords that I think are relevant uh, that I think will make for a good um, good article. But more more specifically, at the end of the day, I do want it to be mentioning the Article Forge free trial. So I'm going to make sure I do create that. So if you wanted to, um, you can create a, a switch to a, a bulk um, bulk article generator. And really, what it does is it recommends that you use five uh, five keywords um, and then five sub keywords uh, max. And really, what it'll do is allow it to create multiple articles all at once for you and that way you can come back and uh, you know do some other stuff so you know the whole purpose is it allowing you know really to, to do multiple keywords at the same time so you can go do other things while it's building up those articles um, I think that's a really nice time factor um, but I actually prefer just to do one article at a time because I don't like it to be just uh, spewing out a bunch of stuff um, so let's go ahead and uh, you know you can choose from English, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish. Uh, I obviously want all my articles to be done in English. Uh, you can choose your article length. So you can choose from a very short 50, uh, 50 word or if you're looking to do a short like uh, you know uh, Facebook or Instagram post or something like that. Um, short 250, medium 500, long uh, 750. So I'm going to do medium just because um, I like to keep that relatively uh, short. Add titles, it will create a title for you. Um, as mentioned, we're going to add an image and we're going to add a video just so you have a feel for it. Um, what you can do is you can post directly to your uh, WordPress blog if you want. Um, so the WordPress options here are to post to your default blog. Um, we'll get into that in the WordPress section. 
you can, if you have multiple blogs, you can choose a ran to do this randomly. I don't know why anyone would do that unless you have multiple blogs in the same niche. Um, individually select, select which keywords get posted to which blog. So um, this comes really in, in play with your bulk article generator, but uh, I'm not actually going to post directly to the uh, to the WordPress blog right now. And as mentioned, um, you know it, you can have it rewrite multiple pieces, and uh, and if you want to create ten unique for, um, create ten unique articles. So. Here we go. We're going to hit the correct, create new article. Um, it does usually take a little bit of time. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to pause here while this goes and uh, come back once it's created. Uh, actually, we'll see how quickly it's running. Um, this doesn't look to be too slow, so this is actually pretty decent. It does um, say a tip if you want Article Forge to write about your business, you can enter the industry your company is in as a main keyword, uh, like like you know. Uh, automotive industry and then sub keyword would be something like Hyundai or you know uh, Kia or uh, Jaguar uh, something like that that way I'll write an article about the industry and then specifically mention uh, your business as one of the sub keywords so if you're a Kia, Kia dealership you just write your uh, your name your Kia de dealership name as a sub keyword so I am going to post this just because it's taking a little bit longer than I hope uh, pause this and so just give me a second and I'll come back when it's complete Okay, I'm back, and it did take about five minutes, I'll say, to uh, to create that article. Um, once it is done, uh, you'll see here it says "click here to see the result." Um, again, all your information is still here, uh, so we're going to click here to see the result. And uh, you know, basically, what is artificial inf intelligence? They, they created a title for me. What is artificial intelligence used for? As you can see, they do have an image that they put in there. Um, and they did create just a, what is artificial intelligence. Uh, they pulled a randomized video here. Um, what they do give you an opportunity to do is again, kind of rewrite um, or use the spin tax. So if, uh, if you have a, a tool that allows you to spin um, your content, this is a great way to do it. Um, but more importantly, let's just stick at the top. So let's let's kind of see what uh, what this looks like as far as an AI generation tool. Um, you know whether it's something that is worth being uh, being read or published by uh, by by a uh, you know uh, by you if you're uh, utilizing this tool. So the term artif artificial intelligence is the process of creating computer systems that can think and behave like humans. While we may be familiar with AI systems like Siri and IBM's Watson, these technologies will soon become even more advanced. In fact, we are already witnessing AI, AI's capabilities, but are they really as advanced as we think? The Brookings Institution examines the problems with AI and p potential policy solutions in a new report. Um, all right, so that's relatively engaging. Um, it talks about things like Siri and IBM Watson. IBM's Watson, those are two of the bigger AI systems. Um, does mention a Brookings Institution um, examining uh, problems and a new report, so it's something that you could edit. Um, AI systems can be useful in managing human decisions, for example, managing school en enrollments. It gives you an example here of how it would be used. Uh, goes into talking about when it was born, where it was born, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, latest developments in AI include the development of Siri and Alexa, both of these smart devices, again, blah, 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 blah. All seems pretty good. Uh, what I don't seem to see right now is uh, it doesn't look like it mentioned Article Forge. It does mention um, Eliza. Uh, let's see, do I see any Article Forge or free trial? So it didn't plug in the uh, the one thing I was kind of hoping for, which was um, Article Forge mention or a free uh, free trial. Um, I think, you know, uh, best I, uh, let's see, what is AI used for? I did that. AI, best one, uh, best AI content writer. Let's see here. Um, I'm not really seeing that either. So not exactly a perfect example, but again, more importantly, what we're really looking to do is find out if this can be a good content writer for you. So if we wanted to get into more specifics, um, you know, we can do that. Uh, so this gives me the text version. I can switch to an HTML version so I can easily post this onto uh, the internet. So 
let's look at what um, you know the next step which is my articles so if you click on that really what you're going to see is uh, and this is a list of uh, articles that I've used um, and I think what you'll find is that uh, it's an easy way to just kind of get um, you can clone your settings you can delete you can download um, you can see what the main keywords were um, when it was posted what the articles name is um, so you can kind of quickly see what your articles are um, now if we click on the WordPress section um, that's actually where it starts to get pretty cool so uh, I created two blogs just for this purpose and uh, you know added them in here you can add your WordPress blog you can use uh, you know set a default blog for when you're posting um, you can bulk import your WordPress blogs if you if you own a bunch of them um, and you can check recent post statuses uh, what I like to, to do if you um, is really again just copy and paste from my articles uh, and put them in myself but if you wanted to you can use it to auto post another cool to, uh, cool feature is the post scheduler so um, let's start one right now and again kind of similar to the original thing we can have a keyword and then this will be our, my first article keyword two and then sub keywords my second article but really what you want to do is just replace those they give you directions all right here and then again you can select from your blogs or create tags so this will select like SEO for car dealers for example or I can just have my tags selected um, it gives me the ability I think to post up to 24 per day which is pretty awesome yeah, and actually is going up more uh, oh, maximum of 24 posts per day so 168 posts per week which is pretty uh, pretty significant to uh, to use um, toggling advanced options we can automatically put them into draft pending review or published um, we can post with default categories or tags we can post with random stuff um, specific stuff all pretty cool and again each one has a selection of whether I want uh, short medium long um, adding an image adding a video and replacing keywords with links and that would kind of just give you um, you know once you do this it would give you a summary and then you go ahead and create so um, that's the post scheduler you can integrate your API information so that if you're using a third-party tool that allows uh, that allows article forge you can utilize that they have a pretty good help center um, that really will, will cover both your account and building uh, account and building billing your affiliate program all the features and integrations. so hopefully this gives you a good overview um, I, I do want to show just you know again one of my articles um, that I've written I want to give you an idea that you know it's uh, let's just say survival food um, really what it does is it does a decent job uh, of utilizing you know uh, going back we'll, we'll I didn't really explain that well before jumping into it so survival food I used um, survival food emergency food supply and long-term food storage so let's just see if they uh, they utilize those so long term food storage was not used but survival food obviously um, does get in there a bunch of times so what they are doing is doing a decent job of taking your core keyword and uh, sprinkling it in throughout the uh, throughout the copy so I think this is a pretty decent um, tool to use again this is as you saw it took zero effort for me um, all I did was punch in a couple keywords you do have the ability to edit anything but you know from what I found for for quick and easy content creation this is by far the best AI content writer that I could find and uh, again you know what I do recommend is that you give it uh, give it a shot yourself because uh, you know quite frankly um, it offers a free five-day trial um, it might just take me in yeah so free five-day trial and then uh, you know it's only 27 bucks a month so it doesn't take much to uh, to make your money back but um, you know by all means give it a fi the five-day free trial and see if it works for you and your uh, your content creation again this is Adam at DIY agency hope you enjoyed the review and uh, if you have any questions um, you know or any feedback by all means you know hit me up in the contents don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for your time